We can now quickly add new inputs by simply typing the forward slash, and now we'll have all of these options here to add a text input, and we can even support image and document inputs now. So let's just tweak this sample prompt a little bit because I want to give it the vision board that I put together for the new year. So I'm just going to say, and this vision board, and we'll use our forward slash and we'll actually reference an image. Now, if we want to reference images, we do need to switch from the mini model to the 4.0 model. So that's what this message is letting us know. So I'll just click okay here and that will automatically switch that. So I'll give this input a name. So I'll call this vision board and we'll upload and we'll just add that input into our prompt. And in case you're curious, this is my vision board here. Now I can test this in line, but before I do that, I need to give it some sample data. I've already uploaded that image, but I need to give it some more information about my objectives and goals. So I got a few things here as far as goals and things I wanna accomplish that I'll paste into the sample data. Now we're ready to test. So I'll click the test prompt button and see what it comes up with. All right, so now I have my SMART goals for the new year. Let's look at what it said. And SMART goals means it's specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. So for each of the things that I put in here in the sample data for my prompt or the things I wanna accomplish, it gives me these SMART goals. And notice what it did here. So in my vision board, I had different things that I wanted to accomplish. So I wanted to have more fun. I wanted to work on relationships. And for the releasing an EP for my band goal that I had, it tied that back to relevance because it aligns with the fun and the relationship aspects of my vision board. So it's using that image that I pasted in. 